Welcome back to Far Changing Tides. Uh, it's been a little while, uh, but Calliope's made some more progress, and now she's going to be my guide trying to catch up with her in this game. Also, the, also, when the boat does something, then the plant will be okay. Okay, good. I, 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 I'm much reassured knowing that the plant is going to be fine. I, I, I'll inform you guys when the, when the boat is doing something. All right. Okay, so... This freaked me out the first time I saw it. We just started up the game. We've landed on what seems like the main menu, right? Except, no, I hit resume, and we're just in the game. It just loaded my save immediately. I have never seen a game do, do that. I actually, I, I I assumed that that might be like a certification violation or something, because that's, it's nuts. Like, I, I've wanted to do similar things in games that I've worked on, and never it never seemed like I was allowed to. So I don't know what's going on here. It's a butterfly because you're so happy. So we're right here. I actually forgot. So yeah, yeah, we got an engine. There's plant. I'm gonna. You're gonna have to help remind me. Yes, you just uh, you just press the air a lot. You know, no, a lot. Oh, oh I jump on the. I jump yeah, on the bellows. Until there's an actual fire, and then if this red bar goes up too much, then you gotta grab the hose. No, it's barely up, so you don't need to okay, grab the hose. Okay, but I'm just trying to remember where the hose is. This, is this the hose yes, up here? Yes, yes, that's the hose. Ah. It's on water spray mode instead of water suck mode. No, 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 the fire's going out. You need to press water. Oh, oh, you need to press the fire more. Oh, press the fire more. Oh, no. Okay, oh, we just, barely, we just barely managed to get past that obstacle. Uh-huh, you go. Are we pushing our way through all the Oops. obstacles? No, 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 uh, quickly. No, no, grab the hose. So we oh, need to put out the fire? Yeah, go put out the fire so you stop wasting fuel. I'm wasting so much fuel. Okay, put there out the fire. Go. All right, That's okay. Better. So now we've got an obstacle. I guess I need to go explore what's yeah. up with that obstacle, huh? Uh, Whoop. For a second, I thought I didn't make it past it. No, wait, wait. Oh, it's uh, a yeah, whole deal. It goes all the way underwater. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, uh, yes. Do you climb that thing right there? This thing right here. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you, now you oh. have a new lamp friend. Oh, cool. Hello, lamp friend. Uh, yeah, go put it with plant friend so that you can do more photosynthesis. It. Wait. Okay. You, I. You're joking, right? <laughs> no. Does it? <laughs> I, I am. Okay. Yeah. I was. Oh, I say. don't know why I said no. I have no idea. So okay, there I we decided, go. I decided. I decided to do that. I it's been a long time. I forgot what this was. It, that's a fixie tool. Oh, that's right. I fixie ended tool. up breaking it. That's I ended up breaking right. it because I had to fix too many things. Oh, I wonder. I assume you must get you, more you eventually. You just accidentally pressed that button. Oh, and I just filled it up with too much fuel. Yeah, okay. you wasted some fuel. I'm so bad at this game now. So there's no easy way to get down there from here. I have to uh, actually take the long way. No, no, wait. So go through there. Yeah, this is what I mean by the long way. And, and no, 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 wait, oh, wait there. It's this? Oh, hit this button? Pre yes, press the button. Oh. Yeah, go down, and, and now you can hold A. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, yes. Calliope, for reminding me how to play this game, because I have... Go down under, and... Oh, can I go up inside? No. Aw. Oh, wait! You found out that you actually need to go back in there. And wait, no, there's more fuel right there! Grab Ooh. the fuel and put it inside your ship! Do I need to... Are all of these things fuel, or just this thing I'm carrying right all now? All of them. Every single thing, including plant and lamp, are both... are all fuel. All right, well, we've got a chore... Okay, so you just put all the fuel. Nope. Wait, no, no, put it on those hooks. First you put fuel on those hooks, then the other hooks. Okay, you gotta pop this open. Yay. By the way, that hatch had to be a nightmare for the developers to make because it opens <laughs> outward towards the player. You'll notice that in a lot of video games, no matter what direction you approach a door, it always opens inward, away from you. And so the fact that this thing opens outward into the player's face had to be a nightmare for the developers the entire time. Also, I keep grabbing that ladder every single time I go into that area. We are going to grab every single piece of fuel. Yeah, and also in my game, I have a lot more fuel because Dad uh, went down the thing and he didn't know that it would like that he wouldn't be able to go back up into the thing. I wasted a whole bunch of fuel. Yeah. Yeah. But um, Calliope knew about that. This is actually one of the ways, one of the reasons why it's kind of fun for us to play this game together. Because if I make a mistake, then you won't make that mistake unless I completely forgot that I made that mistake. Uh, and then if, and then if you accidentally made a mistake, then it, unless I forget, then I, I won't, then I won't make that same mistake. Either way, even though it's possible one for us to forget a lot of stuff, yes, yeah, one more piece of. Come here, I hit the wrong button. Um, 
even though it's possible for us to forget, it's still like you know the the chances of us doing better are are, are significantly higher hey. since we're depending on each other. Hey, Dad, do you think your thing is made out of copper or uh, or or some kind of like like iron or steel? You mean my ship? No, no, no. Your thing that's on you. It's like it's my like suit? when you yeah your suit. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I mean, in Weird West, this other game that I've been playing. Um, everything I've got is made out of copper because they, for some reason they have you progress from having copper weapons to having Grab silver that. weapons to having gold weapons and all of those uh, are not we those are not materials you'd want to make weapons out of oh no oh no wait a minute no this doesn't feel right at all no no let uh, go let go ah! there <laughs> also you would have not died either way Okay, good. It wasn't actually going to... Wait, what is this? No, oh. it's a thing in the background. Oh, it looks like a treasure map. I wanted yeah. some treasure. Why can't your character just go to the back and grab that treasure map to see if it's still around? <laughs> just, like, swim oh, to the treasure. Get up there. Okay, so now... Now, actually, should I be using the engine or should I be using the sails at There's this no point? wind. Oh, we're becalmed? Okay, if we're becalmed, then that makes sense. So let's... Does that Dang it! I keep hitting that button. That's the button that puts more fuel in, right? No, that button puts more fuel in. What does the top button do? Does it just uh, unlock it, the it, engine? It, it, it activates the fire. Oh, it activates... Oh, so you can't just accidentally land on the uh, the bellows. That makes sense. No, my, no, Dad, if you don't... No, no, Dad. You need to constantly press that button until that gets kind of full, or if that button doesn't go down. If that button doesn't go down, uh, what I do is I just, like, to, like, use... T to not waste time, I just grab the hose and make that go down a little more that makes sense yeah so i usually start doing hose when i get about to there like a little bit higher and i usually put the hose okay that makes sense uh, so we're about I to overheat do it right there yeah okay so well, we're not about to overheat uh, no 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 go up oh, there. Oh, oh that's not okay right yeah i need to i need no, to no no you can't you can't you can't do that because you should you should do you should an overheat it's burst okay there we go Okay. So now and I can now build it up again. Now you press the button. Okay, got it. By the way, not Jim Artist uh, says that you should actually be on the official State of Decay streams because you're more charismatic than than my usual co-hosts. Um, I think he's just making fun of my usual co-hosts, though. <laughs> I mean, I, you are charismatic, but I don't think you should actually do that job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Oh wait, we do have wind now. Do we have wind? Uh, there are little lines that go across the stream when we do have wind. Well, I'm just saying the flag up there looks like it's saying we have wind. No, there are little lines that go across the stream. stream? Okay. Uh, thing. Okay, so, so I should still be using fuel right now. I, yeah. Oh, hey, JJBXZ just raided us with a party of five. Hello, JJ. Whoa. And non-dairy neutrino is here. Welcome to the stream. We're just playing some far changing tides. Oh, that did, did, oh, oh, are we overheating a little bit? That. All right, here we go. It's like at one point it like fl starts flashing red, and that's when you should definitely grab the grab the hose. Okay, I accidentally got some water on the burning coal. That's okay. That's fine. If it's just like a bit of water, it just turns into steam instantly. Uh, okay, gotcha. What are those no weird noises? They're so weird. Ah! What? Is, yeah, what's going so on? Weird. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Wait, why is it flopping a bit? That's so weird. Yeah, it's oh, something... the bullet. I always forget about the fuel and forget to restock it. So, is something really bad about to happen to my vessel? Um, not about to, but... At some point? In a bit, because... Yeah. Why are we going so slow? I'm just trying my best. Should I, should I go look under the water and see if there's anything Maybe. going on? I don't see anything. It seems normal. Oh, wait, what's above us? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we barely... I thought we were about to hit that. No, no, no. It, 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 maybe... It was probably saying, like, oh, if, if it's like, if you had, um... If you had been using the sail or something, or if the sail was just out. Oh, that would have knocked it down. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we didn't have the sail up. This was a good time to use the engine. To go a bit faster, you can constantly jump on it. 
Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was if that was going to be if it would just end up wasting fuel or No, no, no. It doesn't make the fuel go down faster, I don't think. Okay, cool. The fuel's getting a bit low. It looks like the oh, the fuel's getting low. <gasps> ah! And and the overheating is happening. Yeah, okay, cool. No, nope, not, not that, not that. I'm not doing that. my best. Okay, there we go. This this, 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 this. There. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. I I always do that. It is so hard yeah. to like to do one thing and not do another thing. Like in this game, doing a thing you want to do is pretty easy. Avoiding a, th oh, whoa, oh. oh no, oh no, oh no. Avoiding a thing you want to avoid is much harder. Oh no, you should put out oh. that fire to stop wasting fuel. Oh. oh, except that I've fallen down and I can't. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, ah. wait a second. Is, is the boat doing something? Uh, I don't know. So you were warning us, is this the bad thing that was about to, oh no, oh no. Don't worry, what I said in the intro is true. The plant will be okay. No, okay, are you... oh shoot. Okay, we are completely submerged now. I hope this is a submersible. Uh, oh no, okay. oh, we're washed somewhere. Where have we been washed to? You have a headache yeah. and you're angry. I w you know what? I am really worried about Planty. Oh, that's his name? Planty? Uh, I've decided just now. <laughs> okay, wait. Is this go, a part go, of my go boat? that way. Yeah, yeah, that's the back of your boat. I've lost the back of my boat? It's okay, though. It works fine. Oh, oh, here's some oh, yeah. fuel. Yeah, grab the fuel. Oh, good. So Planty okay. is okay. I feel like maybe I should have taken Planty inside. Yeah, I usually have Plant inside. Okay. I'm and then I usually take him for a swim every once ah. in a while to make sure he has water. <laughs> Should we do that? Should we take Clancy yeah. for a swim? Yeah, he's probably he's probably thirsty. See, we don't really have like a bedroom in this boat. Like we had, yeah. we had a bedroom in in, in the previous game. Here you yeah. go, have some water, Planty. Yeah. Um, we'll and so th there was the just deck for photosynthesis. Oh, on the deck that makes sense. Uh, on the deck, that's. I was calling that on oh, the deck. Oh, that's the deck. I, I thought you meant this was the deck. Mm. Right there. I don't know. That might Maybe. be fine. Who knows? Eh. Anyway. With deck, I meant like, like. Oh, I understand. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, get up there. There we go. And wait. Let's drop this down where the fuel goes. Oh no! You accidentally pressed the fuel button to add fuel button. Uh, of course I, I did. Anytime I'm playing a game, I will. It, it, it's like, I will usually avoid having something like completely full because that usually means I wasted a bit of it. Yeah, I absolutely agree. That I'm paranoid about that too. But like, like I said, like and in I this game... I want to like conserve as much as I can. Doing the things you want isn't a problem. Avoiding doing the things you don't want, that's the problem. Also, I always have them inside so that they don't fall off the boat. To oh. make sure that they do not fall off the boat. Maybe even below deck, like far... Oh, over in the fuel area, maybe? Wait a second. This is the wrong way on the camera. No, no, this way for the camera, this way for you, just this way for the camera. Okay, so, yeah, we could, we could probably yeah. keep them below deck. They're probably safer down there. Yeah, they're, they're oh, safer my gosh. from falling down there. Also, everything's broken. Yeah, so once we're done arranging the plants, like, if it's like it's like we're rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic right now. It's like all I care about is the decor, uh, which is not what we're supposed to be doing. Come here. Yeah. There are more important things to worry about than the plant, but you know what? I mean, I the plant is my character's only friend. Like, having been through this traumatic experience, the main thing I'm thinking about is my loved ones, which includes this plant. So there we go. Just this plant. Just this one plant. Wait, That's wait, it. you need a fixie tool to fix everything. Oh, is everything, bu everything's busted? Okay. Yeah, everything's broken. All right, come here, fixie tool. Yeah, it's gonna break soon. It only has three uses and I'm pretty sure two things are broken, huh? Why, why did I, huh? There we go. Oh, oh, I need to fix it twice. We are out of fixie tool. Yeah. We have none left. I, I also ran out of fixie tool. Well, hopefully we'll get another one at some point. Yeah. Well, are we ready? It looks like we are becalmed, so we should probably need to just push forward. Yeah, just go. It's time to what, go. One last thing. I just want to, because there was a little bit of fuel out up front. Oh, wait, I just realized. I should probably not have the plant sitting on top of the hatch. Yeah, so bad idea. 
I just want to look around down here and just see if there's anything else. Yeah, I and it's like any time the, the boat is like already stopped, I always look around for fuel. Exactly, yeah. So it just feels like... No, this... It feels Why like... Why were this, you going inside of the wood? It feels like... Yeah, I think that the, no one really meant for me to ever come out here, so they didn't really make the wood navigable by my character. Navigable? Navigable, like I can't run on it. Wait a second, I just now realized that, that you know, the propeller things around your neck? Yeah. Th those same things are on the ship. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, it's re I'm really similar to my ship. Okay, so now let's... That I'm thinking it's... Pr I still really think that the character has... Do you think that... Sh do you think it's like... Okay, do you think that... Um, uh, that that your character has only slightly rusty uh, metal suit, and I, then you have like a super rusty boat, or that you have a very not oxidized copper boat and a very <laughs> not ox in a very oxidized uh, suit. I cannot tell. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That's a very good question, Calliope. Not something I would have thought about. I, I think they're trying to give the impression that, that, that the um, ship is old. So I'm betting the ship is rusty and my yeah. suit is newer, but I'm not, I can't promise that that's how they maybe you it. Ha maybe they're like, uh, maybe they're, maybe they're like, it's like, I feel like they're related. Yeah. And so like, it's like the, um, the suit seems like too to like blue green to be to to be metal but the ship is supposed to be really old now that I think about it maybe it's like the the um the vehicle in the in far lone sails yeah <clears throat> um is What, what do you think it's made out of? What do you think? I don't remember it well enough. Uh, the, the one from Farlone Sales. Well, uh, it looks exactly like the boat. It's oh, yeah. a base shape, and, and the appearance of the material is exactly the same. So okay. I think they're probably, like, they probably recycled an old vehicle that they had. <laughs> um, maybe or at least they, re or they reused some of the materials or something like that, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like the body of an old vehicle they had to be to be a more useful vehicle of the time. Oh, oh, you're talking and about so, the characters in the world reusing something. I thought you meant like the the developers of the game reused something. No, no, I was thinking like maybe that maybe like the people in this universe maybe maybe like at first everything seemed dry and then there was a big flood. I could see big that. Big flood for. For weird reasons, maybe everything was too cold and then it got really hot. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Oh, oh, we've run out of fuel. What? I thought I had just reloaded the fuel. Yeah. That's weird. It's wow, weird. we did, we burned through some fuel super fast. That was weird. I love the the little paddles. That they're they're sort of like on this little cycle, and they're just there aren't a lot of automated, um, you know, vehicles. They would have oars. That's just not a thing that people do. It's kind of part of what makes this game feel fantastical because there's no vehicle that I know of anyway in the real world that works like this. You know, you're going to use a propeller type type mechanism or something like that. Also, because of the uh, size of the characters and like um, the size of the vehicles yeah. and the size of and the distance of the ladder, yeah, makes me feel like they're children. <laughs> yeah, totally. And it's yeah, it's hard to tell if they're meant to be if you're meant to be a young person or if this is just sort of the style of the people in this world. By yeah, the way, that was our last fuel. If they made everything really oh. chibi. Oh no! Quickly, quickly put out the fire. I'm, Stop wasting fuel. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'll get up and, and there, overheat. Jerk. Okay, first Stop overheating and then It stops overheating if you put out the fire. Okay. Okay, fine. Also, the, I got stuck here. I have no idea what to do. That's why I really wanted to stream. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, yeah. let's go figure it out. Let's let's start under... I mean, this is... Uh, I love how perfectly tuned this was, by the way. So, now, I didn't have the extra fuel that you had, so I kind of had... Yeah, I tried to use, like, one more bit of fuel to, like, go through. 
I can't push it open. I tried going through the cracks. That didn't work. I have no idea what to do. What happens if we raise the sail? I didn't think about that. That might be the answer. Let's let's give that a try. Raise the sail. I forgot how to raise the sail. Yeah, you just do that and then climb the thing that doesn't really look like a ladder. That is actually a ladder. I thought it was just a cool looking texture. Climb the mast. So what was this hook for? I forgot. Climb the mast. Climb the mast. You'll okay. see right now. Almost right now. Oh, was Grab I... Grab that. <laughs> There's a whole ladder up here. So, yeah, so... Okay. Oh, that, oh right, that's right. No, that's no. for raising the sail. Okay, so we don't yeah. want to raise the sail. We just wanted to raise the mast. I didn't even think about that. Well, both of us had big gaps between our first session and our second session, so it's easy to forget that things like this even exist. But... No, I knew that existed. I just hadn't even thought of the fact, like, oh, maybe I can use my mast as an elevator. So here's the thing that, that you really... You pull that box over there so you can actually re reach that. So... One thing that really impresses me about the developers of this game is the fact that, like I said, I ran out of fuel almost exactly when we got to this wall. If I'd run out earlier, we probably would have been stuck. Like, I don't even know what it would have done. Uh, I would have had to swim ahead or something like that. And, but no, we need the vehicle here to even make progress. So, so I'm just impressed that they gave me the right amount of fuel. That was, like, probably actually really difficult to get right. It's like, it's like if you thought to like bring all of the fuel that you had with you you'd have extra fuel just in case but you'd have just the right amount of fuel if you if you uh didn't think about doing that okay, i do just feel go through that I know, I, right I, there sh i was just gonna say like like i feel like i am a child in this world because look how big i am next to yeah. this table the table yeah. comes up to my head next to the chairs i'm pretty sure you're probably a child in your dad's t-shirt <laughs> yeah there you go all right. It's probably a t-shirt because it looks perfectly sized except you have longer sleeves. Let's no, try. that doesn't make any sense. What am I okay, trying to maybe trying to push this? Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. Okay. Go up. Notice there's like a little oh. subtle sway on this thing. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Now we might want to go up there, but No not not yet. For right now. Just go right there. Let's go here. Now, I don't know what this is going to do. Oh, I bet that summons the elevator. Okay. Yeah, probably. As I have to say, like, it would be really easy to get stuck here if you didn't have something like that. Yeah. What the heck is... Whoa, you make, the, you make the ladder straight. Oh, yeah, okay. But now we need to go a little bit higher. You know you need to go up. Well, good thing we've got this elevator here, huh? By the way, the Coalition just joined us, so hello, Coalition. Okay, just go, make it go all the way to the top and climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. Ladder. The ladder. Ladder. <laughs> ladder. Isn't it funny how a word just sort of falls apart and loses all meaning if you repeat it enough? Oh, nice big uh, it place. Doesn't... Ooh, a new. Ah! Ooh, triangles kind of like. <laughs> Okay. Well, there's a ladder right there, so we probably need to fix that right there. Yeah, let's fix it, whatever this is. There. Okay, so let's hold on to... Well, hold on. I don't know if this... Let's put on um, triangles. Let's see what happens if I turn this. Ah, yes, good. I did put. Elevator. I did put that in the right place. I wanted to make sure I kept that fixie tool, because we're going to need it for the boat later. I assume. I really... This feels like a missile silo or something. Discover the ancients. The ancient. Oh, there are murals on the walls. They're using the that. Way. They're using that achievement to make sure we notice their art. <laughs> That's actually kind of clever. Yeah, there's people is and a, they. Is that a prophecy of a big tsunami or something? Maybe there's a big crack right in front of the guy in the middle, and then there's are like constructions. Cranes? Maybe maybe they're trying to construct a big wall to prevent, to to make it so the so the tsunami won't hit. Oh, maybe so. Okay, so this is a Oh, this place. is this is like past where you were before, so like go down there. Press the button. Push, 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 push. Push, you push, push, push. Oh, wait, that open. Nice. Also, those cracks look like they could easily fit our character. Yeah, I know, right? That's always tough when you're making a game like this where it's like you've got to you got to make sure that the um 
that it doesn't look like a player can go someplace that they can't. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, so, so that thing is making sparks, so probably... Okay, try... just, just, like, go... Just, like, walk that way. Just I'm, walk that way. I'm trying to. I'm actually stopped by a wall oh. up here. Huh. So I'm not Weird. sure what I'm going to be able to... Maybe unpress the button? I just can't quite even tell. Oh, 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 it's sliding in. It's sliding in. Oh, oh we're going to get an attachment. Oh, I don't know. Is it a new back end? Or... Probably looks like it. I mean, that's... That's an incredible coincidence. They've got a back end to fit our boat that was missing its back end. Yeah. Okay, now you can, like, drop your thing if you want, but you don't need to. I'm not... I'm not sure what's going to happen, so... Yeah, I'm... I think you just need to, like, put it in the right place. So, oh. rotate it oh. at the correct angle. Oh, weird. Okay. What is... What... Okay, that attempts to install it. Okay, so this is okay, down. So that way. Down. I can't see well enough. Through... Okay, in front of the sail. Oh, okay. So, you okay. Go... This fits on... No, that's, oh, that's too going high. too down. And you go bit up. Okay, I think that's that good. Look, well, uh, so, so look at the edges oh, of the deck. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. I'm, something, maybe it's here? Let's try to... I think it would be a bit more, a bit a bit higher because that part's underwater. Right. It would go higher because that bit's underwater. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the right angle on it. But you're right, you're right, that seems weird that can, it's can underwater. I try, can I try to help if you need help? Okay. Am I get? Is this getting frustrating for you <laughs> to yes, watch me do this? Bit. Okay. Actually, there's a light on now. Oh, oh! It was saying that one of the things was right. Okay, and then it just slides up on like that. Oh, that's lovely. All patched up. The new stern module. Um, um, what if, like, the entire thing ended up breaking apart and we ended up replacing the entire thing? Yeah, is this going to become the, the ship of Theseus? You know what I'm talking about when I say yeah, ship of Theseus? Yeah, I've, I've heard of that. You know what I'm talking about when I say yes, ship of Theseus. You're, yes. you're awesome, Calliope. Okay, so I've got a new fixie tool, which is great. I'm going to bring this inside. This is cool! You can have, you have more fuel hooks! I don't, I don't, Wait a second! Are those fuel hooks or are those Wait a second. valued possession hooks? I think they're... Wait a second. Look at that pot right there. Look, look, where, where's the flower? Where's the flower? Oh, it's downstairs. Yeah, go it's downstairs. downstairs. Yeah. Then look at the flower pot. <gasps> it has the same pattern. They're brothers. <laughs> flower brothers. Mine will be flower sisters. Also, I'm pretty sure the lamp goes there because that looks like a chandelier. You know what? That is a really good point. So I'm going to hang this there. I'm going to hang the plant up here too. Yes place to collect things that is so much nicer than what we were doing before just leaving things out on the deck to potentially fall off stuff yeah now put that on the chandelier there we yeah, go I it's beautiful in, in far loan sales um your your thing actually came with a um oh huh. it's probably to drag things like in far yeah. loan sales it's like a tow hook interesting yeah um, uh, and I guess maybe I can that, that lever probably like tightens it. Retracts it. it? Yeah, let's yeah. see. Oh, it means I can oh, probably... Oh, it makes it go down oh, oh, and up. And this is up. Okay, got the it. The other side is up. Okay, that's cool. So we could pick things up off the floor of the ocean, basically, and then tow them up. What? You grabbed a thing! When did I grab a thing? Now you got three more fuel. <laughs> I, just I just accidentally grabbed something from under the ocean. Okay. <laughs> That was extremely, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it was, I think it was planned that way. They made it as easy as possible to, to immediately use it. Because notice, oh yeah, because yeah, I was out of exactly fuel. we exactly the amount of fuel so that it would be, it'd be less likely you would just constantly try to push it and then waste all your fuel. Yeah. So I'm going to, now do you think that we're going to have to push our... Oh, now we have two lights. Great. Or do you think we're going to have to push our way out of this door or, or uh, it looks like a door that reels up like the like the previous one maybe there's some way inside the complex to open the door we definitely have to figure this door out so let me i mean i don't know i'm just gonna keep it i guess what is hold on there's a nope 
Try again. A button. Yeah. What is this button? Oh, it opens. What oh. Does it? Wait, wait, wait. Can you press it again? It opens like a skylight. Oh. T wait a second. Wait, grab your plant. Try to put it in there. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah, and maybe. And maybe. <gasps> we pla We have planted it. That's am I am so happy right now. <laughs> so I think that the developers, they observed how people tried to hold on to their precious valuables throughout the first game. And they're like, oh yeah, let's lean harder into that. Like I love watching it when a developer watches what its audience does and what they attach to, and then they make it more exciting in the next game. Okay, so now we've got to figure out... <laughs> you are so excited right now. Um... Okay, this does not look like a door we can push. Let me go underneath and see if there's anything da else down here I th that we should be interested <laughs> in. I want to mention that I thought that they were brothers, but they were, but they were actually one. They are one. Yeah. I thought they were oh. brothers. Oh, when they look were at one. this crack! I can't go into. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> well, that's fine. It's, just, yeah, it's oh, fine, wait, oh. but but it's oh, like you oh. notice the angle and oh. try to go in. Ooh, a big button! Dang it, I slid right off the big button. Try holding it, maybe that'll work. Oh, here we go. Do I have to keep holding the button? Probably not. You oh. didn't have to the first time. Oh, wait, no, you... Um, it's still going up. So maybe we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, now go. you can go up the back of the vessel. Let's see if there's anything else to pick up. Uh, looks like probably not, so... Yeah. Okay, now go up the back oh, of the vessel. Oh, we're way behind the vehicle. <laughs> what happened? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Dark Dark Smokey just said, "This is cool." I agree. This game is incredibly cool. Now let me just. This okay. game is awesome. Okay, so the sail won't make it, so we do have to use the engine. Yeah. So, what's the what's the quickest way down? I guess it must be through the back. Yeah, I love this. I really <laughs> want to get this attachment. I wonder when we're gonna get the front attack a front attachment. Maybe like. Like more one that looks more like a boat that like oh yeah makes a V shape at the front. I can see that. So yeah. I think because they call this one the, the one we just got the stern attachment. They probably call the front one the bow attachment because that's the name oh, of the front yeah. of a ship. Because ships have to have different words for everything. Yeah, because it's like you you don't say uh because it's like it, 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 you can like quickly alert the other people on the ship. It's it's like if you're in a storm and you need to go somewhere quickly, it's like. Like, it's like if the shank, if shank, the the ship is sinking like backwards, then you need to tell it, tell everyone, hey, go go to the bow. Yeah. Go to the bow of the ship. Bow is quicker to say than front. So Slightly. I think, so I think that I'm gonna try the sail real quick, just because I don't want to waste fuel, and I and this and my flag is blowing a little bit. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I was probably wrong. Well, let's let's just see. It, like, it could be it could be that you're absolutely right. Yeah, it's like, it's like I just remembered seeing like when we did use the sail, then there were little lines behind it indicating that yeah oh yeah there's wind. So yeah. So it, we push it's it this the flag, way. And I saw those lines, so I thought, yeah. Uh, also, when when, oh. when the little flag goes up to the blue, that that's when the side things go out. Yes, that that is like very so, good. Okay, so we're trying to get it into the blue, so that the so, sidings go out, and then that's and, what makes it go its fastest. Yeah, and like it, on the engine, there's this blue part, and then like. Oh yes, yeah, so you just want to yeah. get everything in the blue zone, like. Yeah, to, they, yeah, yeah. Blue equals ultimate speed. <laughs> yeah, totally. <clears throat> Maximum energy, because blue is the color of the energy, of like the fuel. It was. In the first game, yeah. Oh, so I've got to keep sort of adjusting my sail to yeah. keep it in the blue zone. Okay, I think they made this easier in the beginning of the game, but I think now I have to pay more attention to it to, like, hold yeah, on to the wind. Yeah, beca because the wind might be a bit stronger, so you need to pull back a bit more. Yeah I, yeah, I think the wind is constantly pushing the sails forward, which means the sails want to get unaligned, and so you have to keep resisting it. To keep it this game going. Is so cool. I know. It's like it's so physical. Like just there's all these little details of, you know, exactly the way you pull and push things determine how they perform. What if someone was some 
was like somehow able to like make like a multiplayer mod. That would be awesome. Actually, so there is a game called Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, which is similar to this. It's kind of a lot more cartoony than this, uh, but it's similar to this, except it is two people inside of a ship instead of one, instead of a spaceship. Oh, okay. So they're both in ships. Yeah. But. But yeah, yeah that, that word is used loosely. Yeah. Okay, it looks like the wind is not as strong anymore. But like, you'll be able to go like ultimate speed if. Oh wait, no, I can tack. <gasps> Ooh, cool. We're tacking now. You know what tacking is? No. It's when the wind isn't blowing the direction your ship wants to go, and so you you, you sort of angle your sails so you can still move the direction you want to go while the wind is sort of blowing you from the side. Oh, kind of like like reflecting light with a mirror. So it's like. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah it's like it's like, so the light's going this way. Uh, which is the opposite, because there's a ring light right there. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so the light is going this way, but you want it to go over this way. Yeah. It's, so you put a mirror right there, and then it goes that way. It's Yeah, it's kind of similar. Kind of so, similar. So it's the, um, yeah, so it's like, if, for instance, if the wind is blowing sideways from where you want to go, your ship has got a certain shape to it. That means it'll only go a certain way through the water. And so if you can, like, angle your sail so it's being blown from the side, then the ship can still move forward use it by, by harnessing that wind. But then if, you, if the wind is blowing directly in your face, tacking means you kind of go in a zigzag pattern. So you're actually letting the wind blow you from the side. Uh, but but because, um, yeah, because you keep it's, zigzagging back and forth. I hear a vibration noise, and I don't know what it is. It sounds like, like, tubas it or does... whales. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I love the, the idea of there being a guessing game, like, tuba or whale. <laughs> It sounds like a tuba, but nothing extreme is happening. Yeah. I don't know why they would s start playing instruments. And I know the whale sounds somewhat similar to this. Well, it looks like we've got so, a... Uh... Yeah, I think it's probably just Oop. whales. Oops, oops, I lost track of the sail. So I love that, I mean, we're going this... Uh, so much of this game is about just going these you're really... You're just going to push oh, that buoy. No, you're just going to push it. No, I mean, but the one in the back was going to hit the sail. Oh! And so you can't really move with the sail? Well, yeah, so I just I, I can't just decide where the sail is arbitrarily because I need to make sure it's pointed towards the back. Luckily, yeah. they've got the wind blowing well, in such a way that looks that's like the fine. Back. So that thing, so the thing you're using is probably like older and was like not used very much at all. Yeah, they've got these like big industrial ships, like the one behind us that is, you know, it, it just relied, it relied entirely on fuel. But in a in a world where fuel is harder to get. I'm happier to have a sailing ship. Also, uh, when the ship crashed, um, like Oops. when when I played my game, yeah. uh, I feel like it like I feel like the character like like woke up when like Ugh! and then like <laughs> got up all the way. And your character instead like gets up, holds their head like either they're worried or they have a headache, which I assume it's both. Uh, <laughs> Whenever then, I have like, a headache, yeah. I get very worried because I think I'm having a stroke or something. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's getting close to 10 o'clock, and so I'm thinking that the next time we hit an obstacle, that's probably where we need to wrap up the stream. But then you can take over, now that you've learned you know, how to get past that one obstacle and how to install the stern uh, mod, uh, you can get even further in your personal game, and then we can do another session later on. Oh, looks like we're starting to get into a storm. Oh, we're rocking a bit more. Okay, now we got to push the sail out this time. Let's see here. Uh, oh, crap. I just... How did I... I came loose from the... Wait, I see a thing. I see a thing over there. I oh, there. you're right. There is some kind of thing. Maybe it's just a rock, but I don't know. It looks like a creature. It kind of looks too much like a creature. There we go. Okay, so here we are. Anyway, so, uh, Ranoth Cord, um, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure why it says that there's an official Undead Lab stream on our schedule tomorrow, because there shouldn't be one. We're, we're, we, we did fully cancel the stream this week, so. So, yeah, uh, I'll have to check and see why that's there. Okay, the, uh, are you trying to make the sail do that? Yes, because notice that the, the, the flag is in the blue. Oh, okay, it, I didn't realize that. Yeah, so basically the wind is blowing towards it's the like camera. The very top of blue. Yeah. I didn't even know how to do that. So Whoa, we I just jumped. Think... Well, I didn't notice that. 
I'm glad that we've got the uh, plant stick here. Oh, crap. I gotta hold on to this. You see, the wind is blowing towards the camera, and that's why I had yeah. to hold the sail out like that. Huh. It's kind of weird. So yeah, Randolph Court, it's probably my fault, because I think I was responsible for setting up the uh, the official schedule that's displayed on Twitch, and I think I forgot to cancel it. So, sorry about that. Mm. Whoa. I think it's kind of funny how this, how, like, actually, never mind. I'm, I'm so happy we're not using fuel right now. It just feels like a really petty thing to be thinking about in the middle of this, like, beautiful storm. But, uh, yeah, that's the main thing that's in my mind. It's like, oh, man, I'm so glad this isn't costing me fuel. You end up get being very efficiency-minded in the apocalypse. Oh! We just struck by lightning? Uh, maybe. Let's... And nothing broke! You oh! Can, you can still do things! I, I got, I got knocked off the lever again. I keep getting knocked off this lever. It was yourself that was struck by lightning until you <laughs> let you go, go of the lever. <laughs> that makes sense. Not, not your mask. Yeah, being, uh, being electrocuted is no fun. I've only been electrocuted once, but I don't want to do it again. It felt like my entire arm was vibrating, even though I don't think it was. It just felt like that because my muscles were jerking around. I remember one time I was trying to plug something in, um, um, and like I was, well, <laughs> I didn't realize that I was actually slightly touching the metal part of the Ooh, plug. Ooh, that's what I did too when I got electrocuted. Yeah, I was barely touching it, and so it, my hand, so my, so my hand just like started, like, like shook a bit, and I got really scared and decided to not plug the thing in, <laughs> and decided to hold everything by the back so that I didn't not realize that I was actually touching the metal. That is a very important lesson to learn. I'm so glad that you did not die and figured that out. <laughs> yes, I'm also very glad about that. Okay, so it looks like we've gotten through the storm. Yeah, the storm clouds aren't moving, but and, they're, and they just suddenly cut off for some odd reason. You know what I just realized? This is probably a really interesting game to speed run because the speed that you move at is so dependent on these very tiny little adjustments of the sail. Like, somebody being very good at sailing this ship could be a... Oh, gosh. Let's... Oh, no. Ah, stop. There, good idea. Okay. Okay. Okay, We've now... We've got our next obstacle, uh, which, I mean, how in the world are we going to get okay. past this giant go... cliff? Can, can, can I please... Oh, what, what, the... what, what do you... What? What are you doing? Oh, we got to take down the... We got to take Perfect. down the mast. That is beautiful. And I love that the flag stays there to keep telling you whether there's a wind. But I think we need to not explore this obstacle. We need to save this for next time. Okay, so bye. So we've got, we've got a cliffhanger here. Literally a cliffhanger. We're literally on the edge of a cliff. We're hanging on a cliff. So, uh, yeah. So thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to when you take this further and we can do another session later on. And we're also going to need to come back... I mean, those of you watching later on YouTube would not have seen this, uh, but we also made an attempt to show something in Deer Simulator and ran into some technical difficulties. So we're going to have to do another stream together sometime pretty soon to try Deer, Deer Simulator again too. So thank you so much for doing this with me, Calliope. This was a lot of fun. And now I'm going to I cover you up. things with, with my legs. <laughs> I'm going to cover you up and uh, put a subscribe button up. Links to other videos. <laughs> Including whenever we play this game again. It'll go right there. <laughs> uh, something. Uh, uh. <laughs>